it's Amanda, and I'm going to take you on a little trip to Spain today, and I'm going to make one of their classic dishes, gazpacho, because it's facil a epic. <laughs> Gazpacho. It is a classic Spanish dish. It's a cold soup and it can be made with just about anything. Classically, it has bread and almonds. You can make it with cucumbers. You can make watermelon gazpacho. But I'm going to make the most familiar gazpacho today, tomato gazpacho. And this is the perfect time of year. It's hot outside, so of course you don't want to make hot soup. It makes a great little appetizer and tomatoes are ripe and ready to go. So I have some tomato here in my blender and you can use a little bit of water or tomato juice to get it going, or depending on how juicy your tomatoes are. And you want them to be ripe. Really everything you put in here has to be on point because it's not getting cooked. It's going straight from the blender into the cup. So it has to be beautiful ripe tomatoes. And you can see these have kind of already splashed on me. They're juicy, they're ripe, they're red. Guess where they're from? Jersey. Okay, so we have cucumber that's going in, tomatoes that are in. I'm putting some peppers. I have red, yellow, orange, and you can put a little spicy pepper if you like heat. I like a little heat in mine. Maybe you don't, but I do. A little kick, but you can also get a little kick from garlic. This recipe calls for one clove, but I'm gonna put two. So that's about, it's probably about two pounds of tomatoes because tomatoes are heavy. That was a cup of cucumber, about a quarter cup of peppers. I'm gonna put in about a half an onion. Now, I don't have to do anything fancy with the onion cuts because it's gonna get pureed, but this is a great time to practice your onion cuts. Across, down, the claw. Everybody remember? Now, if you don't want that sharp onion, you can pickle this onion a little bit, or you can use a shallot, or you can just stick with the garlic. Okay, so what have we got? Tomato, cucumber, onion, peppers, salt. That was a lot, but you know, tomatoes take a lot of salt. And I'm using a quarter cup of sherry vinegar and a quarter cup of olive oil. Everything just goes in. Now, this is where you use that delicious vinegar and that fancy olive oil that you've been saving for a special occasion. This is it. Sherry vinegar is so popular in Spain and it comes in many different varieties and many levels of even aged sherry vinegar. So, so, so good. All right, everything else is gonna be garnished. I'm gonna put a little bit of cilantro in to go round and round and then some on the end. Are you ready to spin? Are you ready to blend? Go! Okay, this is where you get the blending music. Okay, so I like it a little bit chunky, a little bit textural. If you want to go super smooth, just keep going. Taste it now. Oh, wow. I always forget how good it is because I don't have it all year. I just have it in the summer when all these ingredients are ripe in season. That's delicious. I'm going to add even a little more olive oil. If you feel like it's a little flat and it needs a little more fat, go ahead. I think mine needs a little spice. I'm going to put in some chili. And then that's it. We're going to garnish it. So my friend Kim, who spends a lot of time in Spain, what's up, Kim? Um, <laughs> she said that when she gets a bowl of gazpacho, they bring her all the garnishes, tomato, cucumber, even croutons, and you put on as much as you like, which I think is really fun. And you can do this the night before. It just gets better and better and better. And it's going to look almost orangey, and that's just the tomato and the olive oil emulsifying. We talked about emulsification before. Tomato has pectin in it, so that emulsifies with olive oil, meaning it doesn't separate. It makes a homogenous mixture. And I like to put it in little glasses because, you know, this is a great way to start. And then a little bit of red onion garnish, a little bit of pepper garnish, a 
you've got cucumber here, and please definitely get creative with this because a cucumber gazpacho is so fresh and delicious. You can put bread croutons, you can even put bread inside of the gazpacho, and then a little bit of cilantro to garnish. And that's it. Seriously, I know I said it is facil AF, but what that just means it's easy AF, and it honestly is. That didn't take me much time at all. Cheers. Salud. Gaspacho. Yeah. That is easy, AF, and muy delicioso.